Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to our RimWorld Anomaly playthrough. Uh, things were a little rough when we last left off, but I think they're, they're kind of starting to come back together a little bit for us. I mean, we've still got lots of meat, so that's good. As you can see here, we've built up some holding platforms and I've kind of spent a bit of time between episodes sort of, you know, getting things in order, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Uh, the corn harvest is almost ready. How long does corn take to grow, anyway? Nope. 11.3 days. Growth rate, 140%. Good, good, good. And how much do we get per plant? 44. So, 44, and how big is this zone? No, I, I, I just want the corn zone, please. It is 120. So 120 times 44, definitely don't need to take my calculator out for that because I can totally do that in my head. Uh, 120 times 44 is 5,280. So that's, that's good. We still haven't really built much in the way of security, which, you know, we probably should do some more of. I am curious to myself, because I know, if I recall Raider AI, they're generally set to, like, they're supposed to mostly ignore your farm animals, I think, question mark. And, like, I mean, I guess, like, there's not really much around it. And if I build walls, they're just going to punch through my walls, so that's kind of, you know, annoying. Anyway, we have all kinds of interesting stuff. Uh, Derek... He wants to do some psychic-y stuff, but he can't really do it himself because he's psychically deaf. Uh, but I do want to give it a try, which is why we've built this. Uh, we can do our little jubilee to hopefully get uh, a little bit of, you know, happiness. And, ah, and if it's fun or unforgettable, we'll get a bit of goodwill from nearby faction bases, which... Zooming in or zooming out. Uh, I guess I'd be just you, and maybe you. And also possibly you, because we can make friends with the uh, Neanderthals. And also you. Wait. Hunting worksite, two people. Oh, oh, that's a worksite. Oh, okay, so we don't actually care about those. The only nearby people are the, uh, the Outlanders, regular neutral tribe, Hostile pigmen, we could eventually make friends with the pigmen. I would actually very much like that. Can't really do anything about the impids. Uh, and also, uh, we have some people who have fallen in love. Yeah, that's a different group of people who fell in love. Uh, Speedy and Buns, they've joined together. Also, this bed is now empty, so James can move out of that cupboard and into a happier room. Uh, Derek is an ascetic, so he... I did say that right, didn't I? Yes, ascetic. So he doesn't like fancy rooms, so I, I stuck him in, you know, one of the containment chambers. It occurs to me I might actually want to make these bigger so I can, like, stick some more inhibitors. But if we only have, like, little guys in here, it shouldn't be too big a deal. But, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how that works out. Uh, we could become enemies of the Emperor, which mildly scares me. And, right, we can't actually learn anything about you. We do get some neuroformers if we go to an outpost, so that's, like, something we can do. Anyway, the day is almost over, so let's let's have a party. 91%. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. And it's only going to get worse as time goes on. That's the one thing I never really cared about these rituals. There's no guarantee that they'll, like, be not bad. Well, that worked out. And what did we get? Uh, 10 goodwill with the Finn and Concord, and a plus 8 mood. Nice. Also, we have this uh, little vein of plasteel here, so we'll probably want to do something with that at some point. Really good. And I guess... It's almost the middle of the night, and people are sleeping. Alright, so at daybreak, we're low on food again. That's unfortunate. But only because no one's cooking. It also occurs to me, lavish should go before simple. And I should maybe add 
a, uh, yeah, a little of that. And maybe we'll make two stacks. Maybe, just to, you know, just to try and ensure that life is not too hard. Or something like that. Also, right, there's like some kind of weird glitch with these three. In fact, I use dev mode to delete them and then rebuild them and they're still, it's still not like, whatever I set them to store, they will not store. And I, I mean, I thought maybe it was because like there was some weird thing at it uh, here. Like, th and they're facing the right way. I just, I don't really know what the deal is. Because as far as I can tell, these aren't causing a problem. These aren't causing a problem. So it's like, it's not that there's not enough space. I don't really get it. I don't really know why I did that. Anyway, it's weird to me. And watch now that I've mentioned it. Uh, yeah, because you see like this, they should be putting stuff here, but they're not. And like my brain cannot. Oh, that's why I'm an idiot. <laughs> this whole time, I didn't see that unclicked. That makes me angry, just a little bit. No more than a little bit, actually. It makes me very, very, very angry. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna actually unlink you, and then link you over here, which hopefully doesn't mess with... There we go. That corn harvest is gonna be coming in soon. And we're gonna have a lot of corn. Oh, right, 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 I did say I wanted to... Let's open this up with a bang, shall we? Okay. So... What I am gathering is... There's a 48% chance that Alex will go into a psychic shock. I don't think any of our... our guys are, like, psychically hypersensitive or anything like that. You're deaf. Also deaf. Wait, did I put Zeneda into that? I don't think so. I don't think any of these things affect people's, uh... Also, I guess you so. I should maybe set to mostly try to stay indoors. Which means, let's, uh... Kinda... Create an indoorsy area. Which should... I mean, I guess maybe home zone should be indoors, because in vanilla, I'm pretty sure it's home zone that is the cleaning zone. Is there any reason why I wouldn't want that to be the case? Not that I can think of. Oh, the uh, ritual is beginning, by the way. I should probably go over there. It's our first chance, so let's have a look, okay? We're summoning... Summoning dark forces. This is going to go horrible, isn't it? And it works! And... It summoned a bulk goods trader! <laughs> Huzzah! A ghoul! A humanoid ghoul! It's intent on inhuman savagery and cannot feel pain. Prepare to defend. Zippy. Zippy the ghoul. He's apparently well fed. New research is available. Ghoul. Ghoul plating. Unnatural regeneration. 100 per day. Oh, if we had our army of attack ghouls, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? All right, all right, this whole bulk goods trader thing. I could just let them take care of the ghoul for me. That could be fun. I'm starting to wonder if maybe this is going to be overtuned. Might need to cut that back down. I might leave meat where it's at, but then cut everything else back to around 100%. Because I kind of like not having to hunt and kill as much. Which, I mean, I, the trade-off for that is less time for uh, training. I should probably do something about that guy. Uh, what do we got? Discovery of Zippy has yielded new insights. You can now research the following. Ghoul infusion, ghoul enhancements, and ghoul resurrection. Ooh, we can revive the dead. I mean, I don't really want to interfere with you guys while you're preparing. 
But I shouldn't take this too lightly, because I mean, surely, surely the ghoul is not too difficult. But then, all right, so th this is, you're not hauling anything. I'm gonna have you guys maybe stand over here. I guess I should consider maybe uh, like removing some stuff around here and putting up some more defenses. Where's that ghoul? Okay, he's still coming. What do we know about ghouls, by the way? I think, yeah, the game paused while we're in there. <laughs> That's good, because we do want to pay attention. Let's see, a person implanted with an architect shard and twist it by dark psychic influences into a jittering murder machine. Okay, that's, uh... Why would someone do that? Alright, let's get everyone in here. You guys were just gonna ignore it? Okay, so, even a single ghoul can take a little bit of punishment. I'm gonna get you there. Oh, wait, wait, more than punishment. It'll basically fight until it dies. Okay, okay. I can dig it. Uh, this is the stronger one. He requires- well, then again, he only requires 35, so we'll, we'll dump him in here. Also, let's take a bit of a look at this whole containment strength dealie. So, as we can see here, uh, the average wall and the average door uh, ends up determining its strength and this is stronger because there's some granite so basically we'll probably want granite walls are there stronger walls we can research well i'm going to type in wall first of all just to see okay so we only have that but are there security walls i think the answer to that question is yes uh, wall lamp hospital bed surely doesn't produce walls Oh, it must be highlighted, because that's what we're currently researching. Is there any, like, advanced... I feel like... I saw something that there's supposed to be, uh... Uh, some kind of... thingamajig. The thingamajig being... Uh... Maybe it's one of these hidden researches. Because stronger walls would be nice. Also, I, th I think... I don't think Plasteel is stronger than... You know, I think... I feel like they've changed uh, selecting stuff. Oh no, I can still hit escape. Alright. For some reason I had it in my head that I couldn't... Uh... Oh, and I can actually just dismiss them and ask them to leave. They won't stick around causing trouble. So we'll we'll do some purchases and then we'll... I want the sheep or pigs. I mean, pigs are also a pretty efficient farm animal. Uh, let's see here. We could buy a little bit of chocolate just as a nice treat. Do we have Nutramine? Yes, there's Nutramine. Buy everything you can afford because we need it. We need it so much. And we'll sell off some of the... The fur here. I guess I could sell Yeo as an we could just become drug farmers as a side hustle here. Lessons in vegetables. Cannon of difficulty. Gives us a bit of recreation. Notes on artillery. Mortars, 40 an hour. What does that mean? I mean I kinda wanna buy these books just because are books one and done? Surely that, that's not a thing. Deterioration rate. When left out, okay, that's when left outside. I mean, surely this wouldn't... Surely it wouldn't be you can only read one book. I still haven't really looked into this. And since I'm recording a couple of episodes in advance, I have not quite had time to see... Uh, any feedback on that as of yet. I might as well sell all the lab coats. I'm pretty sure I can make more. At some point. Yeah, I, I want the books, because I want to I wanna understand what that does for me. Dist Ooh, a distress signal. 
Frantic Voice begs for immediate assistance, defending against a fret. They offer everything at their camp in return for help, including shards of powerful... Oh, boy. As the voice tries to explain the nature of the fret, the signal goes dead. Oh, baby, that's... That's the good stuff. Now, what was it I wanted to do? I wanted to build a bookshelf, bookshelf, bookshelf. How many books can fit on this? Stored books will never deteriorate. Books stored here will passively enhance academic work done nearby and increase the beauty of the bookcase. I'm assuming that bookcases work like storage units where it's free books to a shelf, and I'm pretty sure we just bought free, didn't we? Oh, that's cool. I wonder if they stack indefinitely. So if you have, like a whole bunch of shelves packed with books if it, you just keep getting more stuff forever. That would be good. I don't really understand the uh, extra mortars bit, though. Who's my best constructorizer? I mean, I guess it's buttons, really. So buttons, if you don't mind uh, building that bookshelf in a timely fashion. That would be great. I mean, it, I know it's sleeping time, but there we go. So we'll put the books in there. We'll kind of figure out how all this works. Recreation gain multiplier, that's good. Your artillery. So does this just mean that I shoot mortars faster? Oh, also we have to research them. Also, I guess I've been keeping everyone busy, so there's not really any time for research. I'm gonna try to lower some of your priorities here. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's right, another thing I hate about vanilla is the random component breakdowns. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sticking to my uh, goal here. Oh, so this shelf... Okay, it stores five books. Could I see that before building it? Is that a thing? Let me have a look. It... Oh, that's interesting. Outdoor beauty, regular beauty. Is there much... Is there much difference with that? Like, is there stuff that... It's curious. Minus five! <laughs> is it really that ugly? What about you, as a light bulb? Are you ugly? No, you're neutral. That's curious to me. That outdoor beauty thing, that's gotta be new, right? I don't remember seeing that anywhere. Uh, you know what? Also note to self, after this episode, I really should take a... a peek at the wiki or something just to see if I can... end up making my own books. Though where could I make books if that's something that I can do on my own? Fabrication? Machining? I mean, I don't really see anything that screams to me, hey, you can make books here. I guess I might as well learn mortars. Book. No, I think... I think you can only... Oh, what the hell is going on here? Zippy's angry. You're making noises. Uh, what is this? Schools are very dangerous in melee combat. However, the process of their creation leaves them incapable of higher levels of thought, preventing them from holding weapons or tools. They cannot work, and outside of combat, they wander in a half-conscious conscious stupor. Interesting, interesting. Many people find the constant twitching of ghouls disturbing. More disturbing is their dependence on raw meat. If they go hungry, they will turn hostile, even attacking their creators to sate their hunger. Wait. So... Would you be... If I released you... Oh yeah, I should probably uh, also start growing herbal medicine, because we might need that at some point. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to grow the herbal stuff? Maybe down here. That might even be too much. We'll say six by six for now. And there we go. Yeah, I am starting to wonder, is this overtuned? Well, I mean, I guess basically it's... I grow... I'm kind of wondering, like, the balance trade-off here, because 
there is also the trade-off that surely if I'm growing less, I get less experience, which could impact things. It means less time. I'm kind of... I didn't really think entirely through all the potential balance implications when I decided to, you know, increase the... Uh, the resource yields i just kind of thought to myself i don't want to be doing like too much of this or like have the entire map just farms but uh i mean i normally keep things around 100 percent, so i'm not completely i'm not completely sure what the long-term balance implications are just that i want our focus to mostly be i guess it, i've said this before and i don't know why i feel like i have to keep justifying my decisions here because the big part of all this is you know we make a game that you know we play to match uh you know whatever it is that uh you know we're trying to accomplish uh maybe a proximity detector oh and we've made some more progress anyway yeah you know what? I, sh I shouldn't worry about it the game is balanced to make me happy and hopefully to create a interesting story and viewing experience for you guys. So, yeah. Anyway, well, where, where were we? Uh, we've made progress studying the monolith. The structure connects normal space to the void, a dimension hidden in the uh, substructure of space-time. Some powerful mind in the void is leaking influence into our reality. Aiden wants to study the monolith further to learn more. The monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Ooh. I am mildly concerned <laughs> that uh, we're spending more time stud- oh no, we are doing reasonable study time here. So also, how is our research looking right now? Room cleanliness lowers it. Reading bonus. Okay, so the reading bonus isn't that much, but it is something. Eventually we'll want a multi-analyzer, but that's not a super high priority. Uh, you know what also occurs to me? I want... Where's my deep drill? Pretty sure we have that unlocked. We do. I forget exactly what the deep drill... I'm pretty sure we can choose what it is we want, can't we? No, no, we have to scan for the... We don't... There might be nothing here. That's right. That's a thing, isn't it? Uh, That's a long-range mineral scanner. Uh, drilling ground penetrating scanner that's what we need so we need this in order to uh, figure out where the resources are oh yeah where's that uh, distress signal there it is 14 days left unknown hostels unknown stuff was that send caravan thing always a button Ah, I've, there's so much stuff I've, like, forgotten. How much do I really want to send on this? I mean, the short answer is I want to send a fair amount, but... Gotta be careful of these things, I suppose. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So five people requires five horses. One, two, three, four, and five. So it'll take us half a day to get there. When it comes to supplies, we are... We're a little behind the eight ball, so... We won't go just yet, but we do need to... We do need to prep, basically. And I think having another... Uh, eatery is probably a wise idea. We also want some more packaged survival meals. Let's say we want eight of these. And actually, with lavish meals, let's go up to 40. Four stacks of those. We might want to extend some of this stuff at some point. And the idea of survival meals is we should be able to get away with having less of them. Hopefully. Yeah, we're not churning out food nearly fast enough for what we're actually consuming. 
So that's going to be a bit of an issue, but let's get on top of our, our food situation. Is there a reason why? Oh, because you can't cook anything better. Uh, we do have a brave. Mr. Raptor. What kind of stuff do you have to trade? Nothing I really want, truth be told. Uh, are we getting our drug growing operations going? I thought I made a, uh, like a specific, I thought I made a storage area specifically for our, our drug operations. Apparently not. Oh, well, well, it's up here, which means I should probably, I feel like I sell, said well wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's put our stuff over here for now, because that way, uh, you know, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit closer to what we're actually doing. Is anyone... Uh, okay, you guys are reading. Okay, Manning is carrying this over. That's critical. Is Neutramine allowed here? I don't think so. Okay, you can haul the Neutramine. Good. So we want to bring all our stuff over here, because then we can keep an eye on... Uh, what we've got. Oh no! A solar flare. Fortunately, we don't need... Okay, good. Hayden is now making us some drugs. Specifically, the life-saving go juice that we desperately need in order to keep our... Okay, that's good. That's good, too. That's also good. So, alright, so we're, we're getting to a point where people are going to be happy for a while. We're not going to forget the distress signal. Though I guess we're not going to be able to cook for a while. Uh, you know what would be also useful, come to think of it, if there was a way we could just copy everything here. There's a mod that does this. We could copy all of a workbench's stuff. I'm only going to make simple meals of this one. Uh, I think I'm also going to store wart here as well. But I think wart goes bad if you leave it in in the cold. All right, so that's good. And I think I think we can wrap things up here. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.